just waking up and I just read like most of your comments, not all of them, but they are the best. You guys are the best and I've said it before and I tell all my friends and family that you guys are always so sweet and supportive and you just say the most amazing things and so I just wanted to say thank you for just always being there for me and always just saying exactly what I need to hear. Um, yeah, I just really appreciate you and I'm really so thankful and blessed to have a community like you guys. Starting my morning off with some coffee. This is some Irish cream brulee. I tried to make it a little fancier. I was getting bored with my coffees. I know it has like artificial flavors, but hey, once in a while it can't be too bad. I also recommend try to keep your kitchen clean. This is gonna help you stay focused and you'll wanna cook. When your kitchen is dirty, it's like you don't wanna be in there and you're more apt to like eating out. And it's off to work, which is now editing videos. So the girls are definitely bored. I just got finished uploading that meal prep video. It's about one o'clock over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and have some lunch. So I'll think of that as my working hours from now on, about 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. We'll get a video out, hopefully in that time span for you guys every day. Then I'll have lunch and get on with activities for the day. For lunch, I'm having one of my meal preps. It's the tomato meat sauce with broccoli. Now it's time for our daily walk and I just wanted to show you guys this really cool orchid. It's so pretty. I had this orchid in August when I first moved into the house and it wasn't bloomed or anything. I just put it into the tree and now it just recently bloomed. I don't have the most green thumb, but I am trying and I always try to rescue these plants. Sometimes I see them on sale at Lowe's or Home Depot and so I'll grab them and try to bring them back to life. I purchased these last week before I went into self-isolation. So yeah, we're gonna hope for the best here. They're a little bit dehydrated. It was pretty hot this week. It's dinner time now, so I'm gonna make a salad and I'm gonna put kielbasa and the peppers on it this time. You can see that in that meal prep video as well. So here's some salad. I always keep a paper towel in there. It helps get the moisture out. As you can see, the lettuce is getting a little bit brown, so I'm gonna try to finish up this salad probably tomorrow as well. There's some crushed red pepper, some feta cheese, pink salt, and some everything bagel seasoning. This stuff's really good. It helps it give it a lot of flavor, along with a little bit of olive oil and I'm gonna mix that up and put the kielbasa on top. I just heated it up in the microwave a little bit and it did turn out to be really delicious, along with another soda water just to help keep me full and some more Westworld. Hey guys, it's the next morning and I realized I did not um, go over that chapter two that I read in this book. Chapter two is called Run Your Race. You have to accept the fact that you can't keep everyone happy. Even if you changed and you did everything they asked, some would still find fault. If people talk about you being jealous, critical, and trying to make you look bad, don't let that change you. I sometimes let other people's negative attitude uh, towards me, they're just being mean, maybe they're being a bully. Sometimes I can let that turn me into a bully. I feel like, well, if I'm not being treated with kindness, then maybe I shouldn't be kind anymore either. What it's saying here is, <clears throat> is not to let people's actions, their words, don't let it change you. You know, just be the kind, respectful person that you know you are and maybe just distance yourself from those people. If you will get free from what everyone else thinks and start being who you were created to be, you will rise to a new level. There's this one thing that he mentions and it's kind of interesting. 
I heard somebody say, at 20 years old, we wonder what everybody thinks about us. At 40 years old, we don't care what anyone thinks about us. And then at 60, we realize that nobody was thinking about us. Pretty insightful things, right? I think that we all can sometimes let people, you know, manipulate us in a way that, that we are thinking the way that we don't normally think and we're doing things that we normally wouldn't want to do. And over time, we kind of start to lose ourselves, and we lose our passions and we just lose our purpose, our destiny. The main thing that this chapter reminds me of is my career. I remember like coming up with certain jobs that I would be like, okay, I, I could do that. And then I would like to present it, you know? So whoever I was talking to, whether it be a friend or a family member, I'd be like, so I'm thinking about doing this and just to see a reaction. And if the reaction was good, I would, you know, look into it some more. And if it was bad, like, oh, I had a friend that did that and didn't like it, or I don't think you'll make enough money doing that. You know, whatever comment, if the comment was kind of negative, then I would forget about it and I would choose something else. And then I would go through this cycle again. We have those goals, right? That we talked about in last chapter that we have to have a vision for those goals. Well, we also have to work towards those visions. So if you have your visions and someone is telling you not to go that route or that they don't agree with that, I mean, these could be your friends, your family, they're good people, they mean well, but it doesn't mean you always have to take their advice. I was constantly looking for validation and when you're always doing that, you're, you're gonna get lost, right? You're gonna get frustrated. There's, there's another part in this book that kind of says that. If you try to please everyone, I can guarantee you 100%, you'll be confused, you'll be frustrated, and life will be miserable. I'm sure a lot of you kind of feel that way sometimes, and it could even just be not even about career, but about like your diet, right? About working out, your lifestyle changes that you wanna make. Not everyone's gonna be on board. You are in charge of your own happiness. You have to stay disciplined and strong as well if that's what's truly in your heart to live the lifestyle that you want. Stay on that path because if you keep veering off and you're, you're gonna get confused, frustrated, and life's gonna feel miserable. Thanks for watching this video, guys, and I will see you tomorrow with a video about what I did for the rest of my day today. Bye.